the box car I'm working on today is very similar to this Amtrak car that I made a few weeks ago. I picked it up at a train show and the project today is so similar in fact that I'm going to reuse some of the footage from the Amtrak anniversary box car. Most of these projects begin with disassembly and then I like to clean up any areas that might need to be worked on. In this case I'm removing the door stops and a lot of the rivet detail that was molded into the plastic of the box car. The final step before adding the new paint is to take it to the sink and use some 400 grit wet dry sandpaper to smooth the sides and give them a nice surface for the new paint to adhere to. Like some of my other box cars, this has a white glossy side and a black glossy roof. If you want to see these projects in greater detail, just go back and you can find them on my YouTube channel. Tamiya's masking tape is great for a nice crisp line between contrasting colors, and I painted the doors blue for the Amtrak box car, but I'd like to turn back time and leave them red for this project. I like Amtrak. I like Am Road. I also like Santa Fe. I recently saw this boxcar on eBay and I really like the graphics. But instead of just copying Lionel's version, I decided to make my own. And I'm using the logo that's normally found on the front of Santa Fe's diesel engines. I'm going to put it on the side of the boxcar just to the right of the sliding door. I'm going to reuse some of the text from the original Lionel product, but make my own version. And on the left side of the door will be some catalog art with the Lionel logo. My favorite part of the original boxcar was the F3 passenger train, but it's so small. So in my version, it's enlarged and it's much more prominent to the left of the sliding door. The only thing left to do now is to print it onto special inkjet decal paper. Before applying the decals to the model, they need to be sealed with a clear glossy spray.
some of these projects go better than others, this one went really well. That, along with the end result, combined to make it, maybe, one of my favorites. But I have a secret to share with you. I have more than one favorite. In fact, this car isn't just one of my favorites, it's actually two of my favorites. You probably saw this coming from a mile away, but I thought it was a little clever twist at the end. Eh, clever for me at least. I think this is something I will try again in the future, using one item for two projects. It cuts my cost in half of the initial investment, and it also takes up way less space on my shelf when I'm finished. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. This has been Bob's Workshop.